friends. I hate you <laughs> so much. I hate. Did you have fun today? <laughs> Vlogging. It's not even on. It is on. It's not because I didn't hear the beep. It's because I coughed. Bullshit. I know you don't have it on. Get the camera, my foot. It's a terrible angle of you already. I already know. It's a nice angle. <laughs> Sorry. But I think you are lost. Hello, friends. Vlog number two coming at you. Yeah, I'm very upset this morning. I'm not happy. My hair is amazing, though. At least that's an upside. Yeah, so I was supposed to be doing a masterclass in Letterkenny today, but because of the stupid snow, the bus has been disrupted and there is absolutely no way of me getting up to Letterkenny. Letterkenny is like three hours away. I had a funny feeling last night that it was going to happen, but I'm just really annoyed that it has in fact happened. I don't like letting people down, even though obviously it's not my fault, it's the weather, I can't control the weather, but I still, I feel really sick whenever I think that like, I don't know, I let people down, I don't like it. So today I'm going to do my makeup, I got a few bits, actually I'll show you, I'll show you. Hello everybody, I just did my makeup and this is what I come up with. I've been obsessed with these kind of like Eclipse spotlights recently, so basically what it is, is you know, having like the focal point right there, like I love having like a really good pop of colour, like a neon colour I guess, just right bang on in the centre. I've been feeling a little bit of a funk recently with my makeup, but I feel like I'm coming out of it by doing all these. So yeah, what I wanted to show you was a few bits that I got. As you know, if you watched the last vlog, Miss, me and Darren were away in London, and I came home to loads of goodies, so I want to show you what I got. So first off, I got a package from Huda Beauty. Slay all day. Which I am still so shook about, like I can't get over that Huda Beauty even knows who I am. They were very kind and sent me a few bits. They sent me two of their new eyeshadow palettes, the Obsession ones. Got the Mauve Obsessions and the Warm Brown Obsessions. I used a mixture of them today on my eyes. Close up pictures will be up on my Instagram. The size of them as well, they're small and compact. I'll just show you them there. Yeah, this is the Warm Brown and then this is the Mauve Obsessions. So pretty. They sent me this cool little tin thing. I'll keep this for my room with grey matte liquid lipstick, lip liner and a lip stroke. Big ass box from Benefit. I put up on my Snapchat that I was running out of my brow pencil. I use all the time. So they literally sent me so many of them. Goof proof brow pencil number three is what I use. I have got a brow tutorial on my channel. They sent me some Hula bronzer. Everyone knows this. Everyone's obsessed with it. Don't even need to say much about it. They sent me this soft and natural brow kit as well. I'm really into trying new brow stuff so I'm excited to try that. I got their high beam. I know this is very popular as well. It's like a liquid highlighter. I got another wig from Uni Wigs. This time I got it in this peachy color. Again, I'll have photographs up on my Instagram. Whenever I was away in London, I actually didn't buy much, which is a bit of a surprise because I love to buy everything. But what I did get was this belt. I seen Desi Perkins had a belt similar to this. Obviously, what Desi Perkins has, I must therefore have. But I think her belt was like. It's, it was either 200 or two grand. I know there's a big difference, but it was one or the other. Whereas this one is so, so, so similar and I bought it for 10 pound in Pull&Bear. Like what? Guys, Pull&Bear is unreal. I'm telling you now. Yeah, they've got really nice stuff, very well priced as well. Excuse the absolute state of everything else. We got these trackies as well from Pull&Bear. Cute. Super comfy. I've literally been chilling in these all day. I'm currently marinating in some bee bowl tan at the moment, so I need to go wash that off. I'm gonna go meet Daron. We're gonna go get big fat Chinese. I have to finish Stranger Things. I've got two more episodes left and then we're finished and I'm so excited because I love it. But I don't want it to be over. Tomorrow I think we're having a bit of a chill day, but I'll bring these along just in case we decide to do something exciting with our lives. You know? So this is Riley, everybody. Look at him. He's just... A big fluff ball. Okay, puppy. He's a bit suicidal at the moment, though. He keeps trying to jump off. Oh, look at that! Look at him. No. So this is Darren's new puppy. Oh, but look how cute he is. A Maltese. I just got him yesterday. He's very good, though. He hasn't been like crying or anything like that. Hello friends, I'm back in my room. I just have been doing makeup, some 
work shit, boring work shite. I did this super natural, glowy skin kind of look and I posted it on my Snapchat and you guys seem to absolutely love it. So if you want me to film a tutorial on this, let me know. The only thing is I know there's like a million and one tutorials on this glowy skin, but I don't think I've ever done anything super natural like this on my channel. So if you want to see it, let me know down below. Isn't the puppy so cute? Oh. Yeah, today was pretty boring. I just had a chill day and then went for food with Darren and then did work stuff. Tomorrow I have meetings in Dublin and I'm gonna go Christmas shopping as well. So many people ask me about my jumper since the last time, my last vlog, and since it's honestly all I've been wearing this past like month. ASOS men's section. I honestly buy all my clothes from the men's section. Okay, I'm gonna go buy. I forgot my camera today because I'm the biggest dipshit going. It was, today was pretty boring anyways. Well, no, it wasn't boring, but it would have been boring for you guys. I literally just had meetings all day today. Very exciting meetings. I some Snapchat, but look. Excuse the eyelashes on the floor. But I walked into my granny's and she has this mouse trap sitting here. There's a mouse in the house, apparently. Sorry. Sorry, if I walk in and there's a mouse dead on that, I will actually vomit like I'll never walk into this room ever again. I didn't think I was freaked out by mice until now. So I wrote to you guys on my Instagram story and asked you, did you want me to do another makeup challenge? Because I've done a few of them on my page before and they went really well and I love doing them. Like they make me so inspired and I've found so many amazing, talented artists, new artists through this. So I love doing them. Doing another one now for Christmas. It should be up by the time this vlog is up. I look like Simpson update on the mouse incident. Um, something has chawed its way through there. When I came in, there was stuff all over my seat. Of course, it would be in my makeup room, wouldn't it? Of course. Okay, I look crazy. I'm just in the middle of doing this eye look and I don't know if I'm actually doing the other side. Like, honestly, it's like 10 o'clock at night and I'm like, hmm. Tomorrow, I'm getting my face done. I'm going back to Kira in Biofresh Skincare, me a facial. So I'm going to take you along to that so you'll see exactly what goes on, the different products that they use, pricing and stuff like that. It's great because I can actually let Kira do the talking because, you know, she is the professional after all. Hello everybody. So I'm just getting ready to head to Swords to Biofresh Skincare to get a facial. My face is very pale at the moment. I didn't tan it. I didn't put anything on my skin today just because I knew I was going to be going to this. Spent the whole day cleaning. Yeah, heading to Swords now. I'm going to bring you along. And lovely Kira Darcy Makeup is going to be doing my facial for me. I'll leave all her details down below and everything that she goes through. I'm going to post that below also. So don't worry. I got you. First, anyway, and have a little look at your skin. Oh dear. I know. <laughs> so good. I know, it's cleared so up so much. Good. So happy. Did you have like any little breakouts at all or? Um, no, do you know what? I really haven't. Like, and do you know, I might have gotten like a lump under my skin, but it hasn't come to like a full blown spot like what I used to get, which is obviously unreal. Like, yeah. my skin has just cleared up so much. Okay, so this is a deep cleanse facial, so we're doing like a steam and extraction, getting anything out that's blocking the pores. Your skin is better than mine. Like, mine is oh, in bits from um, our Christmas party <laughs> Oh <last> yeah. <laughs> so too much Prosecco. Yeah. Yours is so good. Um, so we're going to pop your skin all over your face um, and it's going to eat away at any of the dead skin. Mm -hmm. So it's a glycolic, so basically just really good for open pores, eats away the dead skin. So it's just going to get rid of that top layer of dead skin. You find your makeup goes on amazingly oh, so after. so much smoother. Yeah. Yeah. So you can do this like two or yeah. three times a week. So we just did some extractions with the little, it's not called a spatula, is it? It's just called like a little extractor. Oh, extractor or a spatula. <laughs> I've got food in the mind. Um, yeah, so we're doing microdermabrasion now, which is what? Yeah. So it's basically going to suck off the top layer of dead skin. Really good for circulation. Um, so there's a few little block pores here. going to get rid of those, get rid of the top layer of dead skin, um, and then we're going to pop a mask on. So the last time I had the microdermabrasion done, and wait, you see the stuff that comes out, it will make you sick. It's so satisfying because you know it's not on your skin anymore, but 
fact that you know it was on your skin, like that makes me sick. Yeah. Okay, so this is the filter going in. Um, so you'll see the color of it after. So it's just gonna be like dead skin, um, just like little bits of makeup. So basically, this is like suctioning yeah. my face, isn't it? Like a little hoover. And it's just gonna get rid of all the dead skin. Um, really good for circulation too. What did you think last time you got this one? Loved it, loved it. But Kira's laughing because she's like, there's nothing even on at this time. So I'm disappointed. I'm so yeah, disappointed. no, I'm not messing. Whenever I said the last time, it was like yellow. Like yeah. it was so dirty the last time. So that's great to see though, yeah. even from like, Huge that, difference. Was, that was like a month ago. So that's great. Yeah. <laughs> Just after finishing up the facial there, it's so relaxing, like literally, you're about to fall asleep. But yeah, this is my skin now. After it, I literally cannot stress to you how much better my skin has gotten. It's all thanks to you, Kira. So this here is my like daily skincare routine. Guys, I said I just go through it, which is while I am here. So basically what I do is I take my makeup off this here cleansing milk and then the rose water as well. So I spray this onto a cotton pad and then put the cleansing milk on top and take off all my makeup. This here is my day cream that I use then afterwards when all my skin routine is finished. That there is like my daily skincare as such. And then I have my skincare that I use for actually like tackling spots and whatnot. And this is the acne out that you would have seen all over my page, all over everyone's pages I feel like at this stage, just cause this stuff is insane. So this is the one that I use. It's just the acne out lotion and then the cleansing foam. Yeah, this here's the <laughs> kit that I use. This one is 45. So this one is mainly just for people say like myself who were get, kind of getting just more so like random spots. I don't have acne, but I was getting a lot of spots there. So this is great for really targeting it. So if you're someone who suffers more so with like proper acne basically, then this is the kit for you. This is the three step one that my sister has actually been using and her skin has cleared up so much guys, I cannot even stress it. Like your soap, then you have the acne out and then you have your moisturizer then as well afterwards. So it's your three steps here to getting your skin sorted. Then we have this here, this is called Pure Skin. It's an exfoliating tonic. So this, you only have to use like two to three times a week. It's great for getting rid of like any dead skin cells. It's for clothes and pores as well, is it? Yeah. Oh, this guy here, guys, this is one of my favorite products. This is the Hydro Mask. So this, I believe you're supposed to use this you can use this on like burns and stuff, isn't it? Yeah, I read. It's I think really good for even really sensitive skin. I'm using it a few times a week. I really find like a difference in the hydration of my skin. This here is the order that I use them then in, so I know I'm gonna get a million questions about it. Also, a huge thing as well is people always think that like acne and spots is to do with like hormones and stuff, but it has an awful lot to do with the products obviously that you're putting on your skin, so your skin products, but then your makeup as well. If you're someone who's got super sensitive skin or if you're getting microneedling and stuff like that done, it's super important to be wearing like makeup that's all natural and Bella Pierre is completely natural products and they have mineral makeup as well. And I feel like people have this stigma of wearing mineral makeup. Definitely, that, you think you won't get the coverage. Yeah, but I, I seen a girl getting her makeup done there. Full coverage guys, full coverage. So the girls actually do free consultations in store, so it's great because you know you can come in, you can find out about your skin first of all and find out about all the products and that before like going ahead with anything. Well they do facials in store as well. You can buy everything online too, but they are based in swords and in Drogheda. Acne out is also stocked in loads of different chemists and pharmacies around the country as well. So it might be in your local one. And I am gonna be showing you my sister's skin as well because she had like bad acne so I'll show you what it's done for her because me it was more so just like annoying spots here and there but she actually was um acne prone she has acne prone skin so I'll show you like how the difference it's made for her skin and how much it has helped her and whatnot but like I said I will do a full-blown get on ready with me but for now that's what happens in here Hi oh, friends that was fun yesterday, wasn't it? It was good for me to bring you along, I think, to see the facial, how it works and why not, because I do get so many questions about it. Like I said, I am gonna be doing a full blown get on ready with me soon, so keep an eye out on my channel for that. Hit subscribe, make sure you don't miss it. Today is Saturday and I'm heading out. Hence why I look like this. I actually filmed this look. It'll be up on my channel on Monday using the new So See Me brushes. I'm super excited because no one knows about these yet. I feel like top secret. Do you know the fact that I have these and no one else has them? I feel like. <gasps> yeah, so I created this whole look using her brushes and Sosumi's products. You guys know I'm obsessed with her brand, so 
I was very happy to do so. The tutorial on this, on this kind of glam look will be up on my channel on Wonder. Oh, I have to update you on the mouse. Oh, we filled it in. Hold on. Remember the mouse took a hole? Yeah, so we've been trying to adjust the situation. Oh, I didn't know we fixed it. Brand new. No mice is getting in here, I tell you. It was a very big hole though that was dug, so I'm afraid it's not a mouse. I just used my wand to curl my hair. I love how it turned out today. Extensions are just so easy. Like, obviously, if you look after them properly, they're just so easy. Like, the curls in this will last for days, and I haven't put hairspray or anything like that in it. I'm ready to party! I mean, the Dundalk girls, the Inglot Dundalk girls, for their Christmas night, they kindly invited me along. Because I never got to go out with them properly. And since I've left Inglot and whatnot, this is probably the last chance that I will get to go out with all of them, so... It's Christmas! Don't lose me anyway. You can hear me come and walk a mile away. 